Bill's two steps back. Margo took two equally small and quiet steps forward. His eyes are open. She said, We gotta go home! I said, I thought you closed your eyes when you died. She said, Margo, we gotta go home and tell! She took another step. She was close enough now to reach out and touch his foot. What do you think happened to him? She asked. Maybe it was drugs or something. I didn't want to leave Margo alone with a dead guy who might be an attack zombie, but I also didn't care to stand around and chat about the circumstances of his demise. I gathered my courage and stepped forward to take her hand. Margo, we gotta go right now! Pardon me! That was a quote I just read from this book. It illustrates the character's personality and shows that the girl, Margo, is really daring while the other character isn't. The main character in this book is Quentin Jacobson, or simply known as Q. There are also some other main characters, but he's the most main character. Another main character is Margot Roth Spiegelman. They both live in Orlando, Florida in Jefferson Park, their subdivision. There are many other settings in this book, but this is the main one, I guess, where they live and most of it takes place. Quentin spent his entire life admiring Margot, the girl next door. He finds her as the most amazing idea, the perfect, awesome, and really beautiful girl. One night, she asks him to go to an, an adventure with her, and he agrees, only to wake up the next morning to find her missing. Where could she be? Where is Margot Roth Spiegelman? I think the theme of the book is to not judge a person by how they seem. I think John Green was trying to show this. That people aren't made of paper, and an idea or view of a person wouldn't be enough to show all that person really is. They have many sides. Let's just say that Margot isn't really a person everyone thinks she is. Who is Margot Roth Spiegelman? Read to find out.